Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. So here's the undisputed UFC lightweight champion and one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Islam Makhachev. He trained alongside this man for years. He has every skill in the book. And the X Factor tonight is that his brother is coming. Yeah, that's one of his, his brothers is what they call him. Islam Makhachev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. And just his size and physicality is so difficult to deal with. He is a tremendous fighter, and he will be pushed even more forward with the presence of his good friend, Hasbula. You do wonder, though, if the opposing corner is a little bit intimidated given Hasbula's presence <laughs> in the Makashev corner. Islam Makashev. He has graced the octagon. It means we are ready to go with our main event of the evening. tail of the date for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Before it gets worse. 
Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Great reversal to top position by Islam Makashi. Well, he's got his back now. Makashev's in half court. Left eye starting to swell significantly now. Oh, good ground and pound here. Makashev's trying to lock up on a submission now. That dar choke is tight. Dar choke locked in, it's only a matter of time. But he cannot rush. He's got to control his opponent so that he doesn't lose him in the scramble. Oh, oh flat him on his back there. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, he got it. the TKO here. Oh. is in half goal. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Alex Pineda getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. First round winding down here. Round two straight ahead. Stop. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the okay. knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, check it out underway. Keeping him honest with the jab. Wobble chair. He cannot take another shot like that. Is there. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Arm triangle attempt. He's got to get that elbow going forward. He's got to drop his chest to the mat. Don't squeeze. Let your shoulder do the work and you'll get the finish. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. 
The defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense have done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these, take these submissions. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Oh, good defense, yes. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Islam Akashi. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. And another one, another strike from the top, lands for him. Makashev's back in full now. Two rounds in the books. All right, so that round is in the books. But in his corner now, we'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. So let's get this again. You got to set it up properly, OK? All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. Ready to fight. Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Nice kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. gets caught with that punch. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. And now some separation. Oh, nice job defensively. To... Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Beautiful transition. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. This is where he wants to be. Ground and pound strike there now. Shots. A lot of good movement. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Pineda's in half guard now. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before he gets given up. Oh, now he's attacking the triangle. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the field. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Uh, All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round.
Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is... Now he's backed up. All right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage, another two employed. Islam Akashev going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Oh, great, great level change there. Oh, nice right hand. Like the champ, yeah. Get the half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Makashev's back in half guard. And he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side under him. Look for damage from the top to come down. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> Under two minutes to go. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Makashev's back in north-south. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work. Of he's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. And there you go, again, half guard. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. All right, good news is the round is over. Bad news, Makashev's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Leg kick lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it.
But the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Makashev going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Good jab there by the champion. Oh. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Looks like he's got the sub locked in tight now. Oh, so how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. He's got to be careful here. Two minutes now to go in this one. Makhachev's in half guard. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Makhachev. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. One minute to go in the fight. Right back. Well, Makashev's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Look at that. It's tight. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Good work from the top here by Islam Akashev. Time winding down, final seconds of the fight. Pareda's eye is closing up now, not good for him. What a fight, 25 minutes turned in. Well, we are the only two men sitting in this arena tonight after a 25 minute title fight there. Epic back and forth affair. I think the challenger might have done enough. The champ didn't want to let go of his title. He fell a little bit short, and we should have a new UFC champion. He did a great job of using his all-around MMA game in order to take the belt away from the champ. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. Well, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer, Alex Pereira, your winner by decision. And not unlike his performance against Bruno Silva back in 2022, didn't force the finish tonight, still dominant on the card. Well, when you're good, when you're this good, you're okay with whatever the result may be. Pereira showed that tonight, that he can fight everywhere in the octagon, and he can win even over the course of a long fight.